So hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be going through a DocuSign and a DocuSign is a platform where you can use to create e-signatures. So first off, go to DocuSign.com and over on the top right click on free trial and the free trial guys, no worries, it has a no credit card required. And if you have already an account, then you can just skip this step. So basically just add your first name, last name, email, phone, a job title, and your industry. And now click on get started and it also needs your company, your company size, reason for trial, do you need integrations, like CRM, ERP, etc. and your country. And make sure to confirm that you're not a robot. And then press create account. And then wait for the activation email to go to your email address. And now once you're in DocuSign, you will be prompted with this welcome message. So once we are here guys, we are getting to like, to know how we can upload the documents. So you can just drag and drop the file over there or click upload and select it manually. But before that, I'm just going to show you around. So over here on home, on the top left, you would be prompted on this screen. You can see our profile picture, which you can change. You can also create a signature and I recommend definitely doing that up first. So you can choose from their already loaded signatures and if you don't like any of this, you can draw your own. So that is like the first thing that I would highly recommend you to do once you get here on DocuSign. Or if you have your own already, you have your, your e-signature on hand, you can definitely upload it over on this section. So that's what you can do and let's press create. And there's our e-signature. And over here you can drop your documents but we'll be moving on to the manage section. Over here on manage you can simply start it now. And you will be prompted to add documents. So that is somewhere where we will go in a while then click on templates so if you want to you can create a template based from your document and just send that to numerous people and over here we got the reports and over here a type of like annual report and you will have like reports here and then over here on settings in the settings menu and that is something that I want to show you how you can find it and this is something I highly recommend doing. At first check out the settings to optimize things and go further. Now go to account profile and you can change your account name, admin custom message and it says display a notice to all account users. So the account address, you can change it right over here. So that's something that I would recommend you to do. And then security settings. You can also have some security over here, brands. You can also add a brand over here. And then the citing settings, and these are like important here for the recipients. So allow senders to override sign on paper. Allow our recipients to sign on paper. Allow recipients to edit documents. That's something that I do not recommend to have. And you can really just change the settings over here for signing. And the current date format that is very important. Current time format. Add like a DocuSign frame or you don't want to add a frame and that's again up to your preference. Envelope gallery, attach a certificate, send completion emails and now we, if we go even further you can have like the sending settings here. You can enable auto tagging for senders. When an envelope is sent write the initial value. And once again, you can set up all of these settings and that is really up to you and up to what you want. Over here on document retention, you can enable your document retention policy. 
after like an envelope is completed, voided, or declined, how many days should DocuSign keep documents before sending them to the purge queue? And you can have like up to 10 days, guys. And here on reminders and expiration, so this is something that I would definitely recommend to have for like a reminder. So over here on days before sending the first reminder, I would like to set it to 5. And then days between reminders would be 10. And then over an expiration, days before request expires, you're going to set it to 120. And you can also have like reminders. And over the comments, enable comments and envelopes set from this account. So that is like basically how you set up the settings. And I would definitely recommend you get the integrations over here. And that's pretty much it. Now let's get into how you can actually design a document. So we're now on this page guys and if you click on upload here, you can use a template and you would see this screen if you click on that. So you have your templates, all templates and share it with me, favorites or just upload your document over here. So now we're just going to add the document. So that will be just for tutorial purposes. Now click on next. Now from the moment that you have your document, you need to have recipients. So I'm going to add your the name and their email. And we will also sign it. So you can choose from these to sign in person signer or receives a copy. So I'm, go I'm going to choose needs to sign. And you can also add an access code if you want to. And then click on next. So you can add more recipients. And in a moment when you have it. This is the document. And for example, let's say that you want to have your signature. And we're going to show you what you can actually do here. So over here on the left side, guys, you would see the standard fields there's the signature initial a stamp and a date signed and but right before that guys go to the upper top left and over in this section you would see who needs to sign these things okay we can just simply click on signature and drag that here and then we can click on that and we can have it on formatting data label tooltip and a location on the screen then what i can do then is to add also your name here that's a full name block and then you're gonna see the date sign that's very important also you can also add your company title checkbox adopt down a text box even and from like the text, you can always write something that you want to say to your clients. And just like always, there is always your formatting options. You can make it bold, italicize, anything that you want. You can do that over there. Also, if you have multiple clients, just pick it over on the top left. And it, the colors would change according to that client. Also, you can see you have blocks on drawing, a formula, attachment, note, approve, or a decline. So you can just simply drag and drop that and just create a drawing over here. You can also have a text box above that again. For example, we're going to tell them to draw a smile and that will be that option. And you can also add a note over there. So that's pretty much how you use it, guys. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Now, under the standard fields, I would have custom fields and I can add like my own custom field. And then over here on pre-fill tools, you can have a align here. And then once again, you can change over it on the side. You can set the recipient, the color of the line, the line thickness, and the length. So that's pretty much how you do it, guys. 
You, of course, you can also copy and duplicate things if you want to. And there's the undo button over there. And you can set the screen, zoom in, and you can also add a comment. And, and you can also enable auto tagging. So let's just click next. So over here, you're going to like add your message to the recipients. So that is like the subject. You can then change that according to you. And then the email message on what you want to tell to your clients. Now over here on the right side, you see the document and the recipients and they need to sign. And then over here, you can also set like automatic reminders every two days, three days, up to seven days. And then over on the right of summary, you have options. And you see like the expiration over here. The envelope expires on and set it from like how many days you want to expire it. Then recipient privileges, allow recipient to change sign responsibility. And you would click here on send so it is sending right now and now we got it so let's check out the email so click on that and here you have it you can assign it you can first agree to that and click continue and look over on this and we're going to click on adapt new and then you can draw your signature again and uh, there you go and then the smiley drawing you can just draw that over here and then just if we're done click finish and then you will be prompted to your all done page and since we tested that out we can see over here on reports that we have now one completed and we're pretty good to go guys so that's pretty much it thank you guys for listening and tuning in for today's video i hope you guys learned something new don't forget to like subscribe down below and i will see you guys on the next one bye guys